Johnson back to receive for the Buckeyes. Could have a lot of points today here at the Horseshoe. We are off and running Western Kentucky and Ohio State. And Xavier Johnson on the return from the goal line. And the Buckeyes will have it right around. It's an opening throw. It's to Marvin Harrison Jr. as well. And he's close to 2,000 on the ground for his Buckeye career. And he's close to state offense. After the gain of five. It's McCord to flip it out wide. He's got Abuka. Emeka Abuka into space. And another gap. Out to me with Abuka. He has added a lot of strength. One of the best long. Was in a win against Youngstown State last week. McCord off play action. Rolling to his right. He throws it for Stover. That simply special teams make Western Kentucky feel ya. They'll throw this side and incomplete. Off the mark for Fleming. An island. Now the motion, his direction, McCord with a double clutch, and he finds Abuka. First down, Buckeyes. This is the advantage of a little more size and strength. You just can't cover Abuka. Once again, coming in motion number two, and even though it's pretty tight coverage, you can see Allen, the safety's there. He's using that frame and that size. McCord gives him an opportunity to convert. Fourth down. Opening drive for Ohio State in its third game of the year. Henderson to the outside. He's got the fringe and a touchdown, Ohio State. This was the great fear for Western Kentucky. That stretch run game out on the perimeter. Joshua Simmons gets just enough. And this is the one area they're going to throw bodies all up. Early returns on the offensive line. Thumbs up. S uh, very In terms of all of the skills as Western Kentucky will get it for the first time. This high octane offense. Elijah Young back to receive the kick. And he'll come from the two and run into Scarlett and Gray with a marker coming in. During the return. Holding return team number 92. Half the distance of the goal line. Western Kentucky football. First down and 10. First play, it's a run. Davion Irvin Poindexter, who's been here with Indiana. He's, he's an interesting cat. Impressive. Austin Reed's first throw is on target to the far side. Cre Player on that defense, Gordon Jim Knowles. Denzel Burke, the best cover guy. This is Corley, and it's incomplete. We got the first touch to his local product. That was a little off target, but Corley res Chuck it. See what Jim Knowles does here. He rushes four. Reed rolling and throwing across his body. He's got a first. They will test the second and third levels. There's another screen. This one goes to the far side, and Corley and Malachi Corley. Action to us in our conversation a couple of days ago. He feels some pressure, gets it away for Irvin Poindexter, and his cut inside. But their advantage is on the perimeter. Marquis Step, the USC transfer. Not there. Uh uh. Did you say perimeter? Reed gets it out down the sideline. Little jostling and incomplete. Got to have two yards. Reed loads up, fires, incomplete. Ohio State takes over. Third down, man to man. We're going to challenge you. Fourth down, we're going to be sound in our zone, and we're going to give this gunslinger no window to throw in. In the next couple plays for the Buckeyes, see if they take a shot here. It's out wide, and Harrison Jr. and Marvin Harrison Jr. who are in their movement and their speed is the same. Isn't that awesome? The way Genie. Third and one. Henderson the tailback. As many touches as you can. Play action, McCord. Wants to let it rip instead. He goes down. The ball is out. We takeaways. You're going to see McCord with the deep drop. Western Kentucky not even lined up. And he wants to eyes down the field, take a shot at his old high school buddy. But the post is covered. And then it's all effort. That, that is Wheeler getting home there. And as a QB, you've got to feel that. Right? You know you want to take that shot. But that clock in your head is, okay, I've got to get it out. And at all costs, I've got to protect the football because this team on the other. 
That's Corley in motion. Looked like he wanted to flip it the other way, and that got deep. Second down, short set, and that's whistled high. And Third and ten off the turnover. Reed down the middle. Got it for Corley. It's a frick. As he splits out of the backfield this time, Reed rolls that direction, throws it back, and has a connection to River Helms. His tight end who broke a tackle. Group up front trusty then because they've gotten beaten. Blitz. First down throw incomplete. He walked to us as well, so he knows feeding Corley is big today. That's a small win. It's a run, it's step, and he's hit right at the line. That's Kenyatta Jackson Jr. who bursts through. Just unblocked here. You'll see the left tackle. He blocks down and really gets to nobody. I'd sure love to see him at least get a body on that edge threat. Reed wants it himself right up. After the play was over, unsportsmanlike conduct, offense number five. That is his first of the ball game. 15-yard penalty, still first down, Western Kentucky. Blue Smith said, this is personal to me. This game is personal. He came back here to Columbus. Here it is. Let go. It's Denzel Burkhardt, so it's first and 10 outside the 30 for Reed. Pocket holds up for long enough, and he's out wide. And this is from 43. Carnero perfect on the year, different setting, same result. It is good. Two learning this game from the line of scrimmage out. Cole and Clay, I'm certain watching this ball game here in Columbus. Johnson on the return for Ohio State, and he is bottled up, keeps his feet, and met by the rest of Bowling Green. That was Henderson in motion. They'll run it with Chip. Have to find out about their run game and their offensive line. Low snap here. This out wide. Julian Fleming. First down, and he is. Ryan Day's trying to sneak in one more play. It is Henderson looking for but the penalties. Forced his hand there. Second down out of the quarter break, and it's Henderson leading. For Western Kentucky. Ohio State 30% on third down coming in. Henderson nearly gave it back, but he's got the sideline and then some. Inside the 35-yard line, first down for Ohio State. It's a gain of 23. And that's a broken tackle. I mean, if you're the, a hilltopper, you've got Travion here stopped. If you can make the tackle, you defeat the block of Abuka, right? Sideline warning. Ohio there, State. And you just it's their first football game. Finish There's it. no yardage penalty. First down and 10. That's Rome Weber, the safety there. And that's hard. I mean, that's the open. First down. And this is a run. It is Harrison. It is open space. Marvin Harrison Jr. inside the five. There is a Get a dad, weren't you? Oh. Holding offense number two. Ten yard penalty from the spot on the foul. They've had about eight yards of play on first down so far today. It's training. And he's got three. They have Harrison alone for the moment. Now Ibuka in motion to that side as well. And McCord on the throw for Harrison. And no chance to make a play. Third down, McCord. Steps up, drops it down. It's Harrison again in wide open grass. Train him inside. It's a toss. It's Henderson to the outside. There's another hurdle. Henderson near side. Henderson breaks down the door. Touchdown. Great call. What a great call. It was man-to-man. -man. That short little motion took a linebacker out of it as he follows Cade Stover right here. You'll see the linebacker get out, and then you'll see Josh Fryer shove a defender in, use the right arm to shove another out, and that's all it takes for Travion Henderson. He is now 25 yards from 2,000 for his career. Did you see Julian Fleming working once again, driving that corner into the end zone? And he said it might actually be these guys. 2021 in the spring, yes. Also, his guys were the Dolphins, Jarvis Landry, etc. Brandon Marshall. But man, but we move the defensive backs. They move based on arm movement. 
as this is a run for Irvin half last year still looking for that first sack as you mentioned this year here they come again Reed gets it away to the sideline of the coverage for Hancock and a marker does pass interference defense number seven 15 yard penalty from the previous spot includes an automatic first down yeah, it's been Igbenosan and Burke starting but it is Hancock that's mixing in there a little bit of nickel as well and KD Hutchinson's a little guy, man. He is not, listen him at 5'8", he's not quite there, but just that grab. Huddle and says, Austin, give me a chance. Giving ground here, he whips it out near side. Corley dropped it in beautifully. Malachi Corley inside the 25. That was a bullseye from Reed. Sure was, and here, <laughs> they're gonna fake a little screen right in front. So much of what they do with all that screen action and their play action doesn't really come off runs. It comes off fake screens with the vertical down the field. There is stress on the defense. Near side incomplete for Burt. Out passing the Buckeyes so far. Irvin Poindexter has an Allen lost the football. It's down on the deck, still on the deck. And Wes Dorsey of Western Kentucky looked like he fell on top of it, the right tackle. And how the field is a fumble recovered by Western Kentucky for <laughs> how, goal. How Denzel Burke does not fall on this ball. 103,000 were ready to get pretty darn excited as Ransom's on the tackle and watch Burke come in right here. And it just goes through his arms. And Johnny on the spot. A lot of credit, a lot of effort there to West Dorsey, the South Carolina transfer. To follow that ball, never give up on it. And now a first and goal. 6 7, 3 15. Lumbering downfield to come up with the ball. Reed on the roll, and he lives for second down. Smart. They'll motion Corley attached to the formation now. It's a run for Reed, seeking the end zone. Oh, down at the bottom. Reed wants the ball. He throws. He's got Corley, and it is a touchdown. Looks like it could break glass right now. He just went ball cap on the sideline after that. Look, we can do this. We can throw it against anybody. And they have. Ohio State has run it in twice for its 14 points. So it's a long throw. It's Harrison. Nobody around. Marvin Harrison Jr. waltzes in. You know the trouble with double coverage sometimes, Jason? It looks really good on the whiteboard. But when 22 miles per hour is coming at you, he is going to split a double team just like his pops used to do. Watch this. You got two guys on him. Anthony Johnson in the corner. You got the safety over the top and Weber. And you got nobody that can run with number 1-8. Here's the numbers. 22.2 miles an hour. The fastest player on a football field. Really? Just stretched out. Just the six foot four version of... Hall of Famer pops. Fair catch for a lot. on hook is it in is not. And then he runs right by you like Marvin Jr. just did. Marquis stepped with a gas for Wesley. Reed scanning, firing far side, incomplete. Corley in motion with Hancock. It's Reed on the run. Second effort, and they're going to mark it short. Yeah. It is a run, and it is a first down for Reed. <laughs> Step. Leaning points in the first two weeks combined. And remember, Western Kentucky gets the ball on a halftime. Reed inaccurate. Burke on the... It's a pitch from Reed, and it's not going anywhere. Elijah Young undercut. Steel Chambers burst in. Sure did. Steel looked like a running back. You'll see this in Steel Chambers right here. So many times on the track that he runs, it's the look at that. It's identical. Like he's in a mirror with that running back. That's the benefit of being a former running back and making that. Austin Reed. Tui Molo out in his face, and it's nearly intercepted. 
Buckeyes get it anyway. Proctor has been all over the place. He got his hands on that, and it's a turnover on downs. Yeah, he's going to be a little bummed he didn't get his third career interception, but it's right here. If Julian Fleming on the other side has been the difference maker on those touchdown runs, this near interception is all because of your rush. Tuimolo getting into the face, and on fourth down, all that Austin Reed can do is throw it up in a situation like that. An awful lot. Chip Trina, straight ahead. Really straight ahead. All the way to the house, straight ahead. Well, what did Coach Fry want to see from that offensive line? He wanted to see displacement. He wanted to see movement. And he wanted to see violence as you move people off the ball so those big horses could come riding right behind. So, look, there was some conversation about number of plays, yards per play for the Buckeyes. Last two plays, 115 yards and two touchdowns. Pretty good. Yeah, that's 57 and a half yards a play. Keep that up. You're probably going back to the 64 and 2 Ohio State, their last 66 games in the non conference. And this into the end zone. Reed in sunlight drops it off for Urban Poindexter, and he is Jim Knowles' second year defensive coordinator with the Buckeyes after his stint at Oklahoma State. This is batted away, incomplete, to defeated start. The story of college football. Reed on the run, sets and fires, got a first down across the 40 yard line. Blue Smith put it on the deck. It is Ohio State football. Ibn Osen gets on top of it. I think it was Jordan Hancock with the contact to jar it loose. An earlier pass interference penalty, but once again, look at all of the Buckeyes in and around the football. One, two, three, four, five. You don't see one other Hilltopper <laughs> in that shot right there. It is nothing but Scarlet. Helmet to the ball. And unlike earlier when it scored. Rome Weber was up at the line. Now they check out of it. Travion Henderson spun around and halftime but how close will it be play action McCord on the roll drops it off tight end Stover again wide open space in Columbus yet another 20 plus they'll go to the short side and Henderson McCord down the middle wide open and Buka touchdown so good Extra point for Jaden Fielding is good. Plays for the Buckeyes have gone for a buck 65 and three touchdowns. And they've left Western Kentucky with only aspirations. The Buckeyes have the ball. To your point, Ohio State only allowed 12 sacks all of last year. That was top seven. A lot of time if you can't convert. Reed down the scene. Got it. River helms the tight end, spinning it. Reed drops it off and got the completion. Climbing the pocket, ducking out of one tackle, and then he's wrangled down. Find a third down conversion. Reed, near side, in three down linemen. For Ohio State, they will rush three and cave in the pocket anyway enough. That might be miscommunication with the receiver again, Musa Berry, and it's incomplete. Ohio State will take over. Yeah, just nowhere to go. Jim Knowles is not going to allow Corley. You're going to see him right here in the middle of the field, and you're going to see Eichenberg in front of him, coverage behind him. Go ahead, throw it to anybody else but Corley. That has been, I think, the first half. You're trying to make this a stress test for the offense. You might as well go for a little bit more. McCord on the roll, and he just totes it out of bounds. They shouldn't have built on it today. Played keep away last week. Youngstown State did. 
McCord down the middle, puts it right on the money for Stover, the tight end, and he is tight roping inside the red zone. Who is this guy? <laughs> A 49-yarder in the open. You're going to see him come right into your screen across the field. Kate Stover, former DN, former linebacker, tight end, and now just a threat in the passing game. Former basketball star in high school. McCord, end zone, right there, touchdown, the second for Ibuka. That happened in a heartbeat. Do you know how easy he made this catch look? If you and me try to attempt to do that with our bodies <laughs> what? and flip your hips full speed like that, it doesn't look anything like that. You're probably falling, and I'm falling all over myself. But the body control of Emeka and Marvin is just different. And yes, I said it by first name. Yeah, because they're they're basically pop stars. Decision of detail that he demands. Well, that's how you get quality control to make sure it all looks the same and work. And these guys are pros. Sleek first half for the Buckeyes. Off we go, second half from Columbus. Elijah Young will wave it off down. And happy with the physicality, guys. They're playing hard, they're running downhill. We're hearing a lot, complimentary football, but you mentioned it earlier. He's in those big games. Malachi Corley on the catch. He is across the 40, breaking tackles again. Yards for Corley. Elijah Young with another carry into the middle of that Ohio State defense. And yeah, it's 42. Reed on the roll. And he steps out of bounds. Small thing there, and that just went FBS the last decade and a half. Reed, quick throw on the slant. That's incomplete. It's Hammer, the punter. He is from Melbourne, Australia. His parents have come to this game to watch here in Columbus, and the first and he did. Hand off to Tenderson, putting the head down. He was so elite while he was the number two pick in the draft, and Kyle all over it. Fleming, little shimmy, and he leans. It's interesting comparing it to golf and how important the mental side of sports is in that category, right? No question. We have a marker coming in. Ball start. Offense, number 71. Five yard penalty, second down. And it's why his guys have been for that coach up there. San Francisco, Philadelphia with Chip Kelly, his mentor, his college coach at New Hampshire. That's a little hot. Court, hard throw, and that is caught. To jersey numbers, first of all, but positions, wide receiver room that's been changing. It doesn't have a huge role in the pass game every game as that punt ends up going out of bounds. Once is going to be necessary. And yet, some of the conversation around here is about job security. It's Michigan if the clues haven't gotten you there. Step to the fifth. Now luck into three separate looks. This is blown up. Step got turned all around by Lathan Ransom. There's some seniority back there. Burt's a third-year player. He's a fourth-year player. Proctor's a sixth-year player. There is loads of experience. The book of the fair cat. Back to St. Joe's prep in Philadelphia. They both came to the city from their respective towns as Henderson's got a run, and he has absolutely been. We got a little false start, it looks like, but set the foundation for everything else, and that was a terrific job of getting on blocks. Snap infraction. Offense number 75. Five-yard penalty. First down. It's on Hinge McBalty. Talking about it like it's the eighth wonder of the world. McCord on play action. Comes this side. It's Stover again. Massive day for the tight end. Stover, except he lost the football. Ohio State is on to go. Play action. McCord, that side. Stover again, right back if you could block it up. McCord, far side, got it to Jim to go from wide receiver to tight end, do what the team needs, stick around, and he has. Near side, in the air for Tate. 
And it's in career stop. Back to back. And Ohio State will punt. Murko to the five. And a fair catch by Hutchinson. Western Kentucky football after that interlude. And it's a oh. run. And the ball comes loose. Urban Pondexter put it on the ground. Now a fight for it. In the end zone, a big old scrum. And they're going to have to unpack. Oh, no, they're not. Oh, no, they're not. Tyleek Williams engulfed the football. Give it to me, he said. I think Denzel Burke was watching the carnage there during the timeout because look at him come up and put his head right on the football, right? It was a touchdown. There. Eyes up. Face mask to the ball. Steel Chambers going to be kicking himself. He didn't scoop and score. A big extra point is good. Right? He goes to Oklahoma State. He's got to deal with Big 12 offenses. He has to shape shift, be a chameleon, figure all that out. He comes to Ohio State. He figures out the best. After dinner tonight. He already had a dinner. Right? <laughs> he just had it in the end zone. Table for one. Western Kentucky. Quick set again for Reed. This is Burt, the Columbus native, and he's yanked out of bounds. Minutes to make a big play. Marquis Stat. Look, big picture though. You've been higher, and it is one of the special venues in college football. The largest crowd Western plays on third down in two weeks coming in. This is their 13th third down try, and Tyler Williams in there again. They're going to say the ball is dead. And want to fourth and one. Reed was going sideways, and he does. Had enough guys to beat those guys on the back end of this defense. We saw some of his signaling there as he spits that out wide, intercepted. Steel Chambers did find himself a football. These are day one install fundamentals right here, Jason. You're going to see the route here. You're going to see Steel Chambers knowing it's zone coverage. I'm going to push that inside receiver, and then I'm going to get eyes to the backfield. Right, so I'm going to get underneath that route right there. I do my first job of pushing the receiver, the slot receiver. <laughs> Ty Leakes put on a show, man. Go use your legs and your athleticism. This is Trainum on first down. You don't have to be perfect. Just go play right now. Here's Brown throwing out wide. It's G. Scott Jr. and he is drafted. Devin Brown in at quarterback. And this is a run for Mayan Williams, so it'll be fourth. G. Scott in at tight end. They'll run back of him. And Mayan Williams, he's a runner and he's a competitor. Devin Brown sets up to fire. He does near side, and that's the freshman Tate. Um, House thinks of those fundamentals. The mechanics. I don't see a weighted ball there. This is a game. Second down and seven. Play fake for Brown. A punt and a go. Down the sideline. Tate right there. Well, that's a strong ball. Yeah, that is the best ball I've seen him throw all season long. This is going to be a little double move. And we have seen these Hilltopper DBs outside having big issues. But this is perfectly thrown. I mean, this is out right as he's coming out of his break. I said to you, man, sometimes you too can be freed up. If you're not in the competition, if you don't try to do everything right and perfect, you can flourish. And that was... That was pretty football right there. And that's a young man celebrating his very first touchdown. Drew Freshman out of Chicago. Carnell Tate to give Ohio State a the first or second pick in the draft for Caleb Williams. Bronson Barron is in to play quarterback. He was running his routes. A lot of like single leg jumps. These exercises with his eyes closed to work on his balance. He said he feels 100. Is that real? Oh, it is very real. The throw. It's tipped in the air right back to Barron. Brian Hardline did say to us the expectation is not that these guys will play as freshmen. They'll have for him. He's like, it's just that friendship. It's that connection we have off the field that makes our connection so strong on the field. Oh boy, Barron gets absolutely mauled. Fourth down. What is it? Is it? Is it the footwork as we watch this? 
uh, caving in on Barrett. Yeah, it's the opposite of this, where everything <laughs> does right. just barrel down on you. And that's, we're on the exact same page. Coaches like to call it time on task. And it just affords you a depth of background and knowledge. And when the Buckeyes and Wolverines get together once more after a one and two record in three games under Ryan Day is. Yeah, this is a, this is a nightmare for defensive coordinators to prepare for. They use the short side quite a bit. We wanted to see his guys get after the line of scrimmage. Mission accomplished. Brown wheeling out of the pocket, kept his feet, didn't go down. Brown rolling, fakes a throw, and Brent Venables in year two looks like he's got a dangerous Oklahoma side in the farewell for Ohio State. I call that a tease in television. Brown to throw, and it is tipped, and it's actually intercepted. Picked off by Wheeler. This is when a tease goes bad in television because that Mr. Wheeler, for the second time today, makes a big play. He was a big part of the forced fumble on that sack 